Adobe versus DaVinci Resolve, the biggest conflict in video editing world that you can have. And we're gonna give some facts as well as opinions on this whole breakdown. So let's jump into it. Mm, dope. What's poppin' everybody, my name is Danny Matthews. At the very end, I'm gonna talk about the biggest issue with Adobe Premiere and the biggest issue with Resolve as well as something you wanna keep in mind, especially when you're looking to switch or start in one of these softwares. This whole push for Resolve has been a big one for a little while now and a lot of people are talking about this. So I wanna lay in some facts to help you guys understand the softwares and make a decision whether you are just starting out as a beginner or you have been using Adobe for a long time or any other software for that matter. The first one, I am gonna be talking about crashing. Now I have owned a PC and a Mac and have tested out both of these pretty thoroughly. I have never had it crash on my PC more than maybe one or two times in the lifetime that I had it. And I had that for about two years. And now that is with the older versions and those ones were a lot more prone to crashing. And I had a friend who had a Mac and it crashed on him. I'm talking almost every single week. And I think that the new Macs that came out with M1 chips actually have, have actually been able to handle the software of Adobe Premiere able to not crash as much. I have a Mac now with the newer versions, doesn't crash at all. I've had it crash maybe one time on me now that I'm thinking about it, but the crashing issue for me is not a big issue anymore. I do think that people have issues with this. So this is something that you have to experience on your own. And if something that's just driving you crazy, then this is a big reason why you wanna switch over to Resolve. Resolve now, crashing I have never had it crash on me with PC or Mac and all my friends who use it as well they don't have any issues so I know the first one was a little bit hard to measure in terms of actual data and facts but the next one number two where we're gonna talk about is file management now file management is for me very important and as an editor it should be very important for you now resolve offers a very unique way of doing data management which I think is actually very helpful for people who struggle with data management and filing systems whereas in Adobe Premiere you can save the project file to whatever folder you have and for me I personally love that but to you, it might be something that you don't like. So in Adobe Premiere, you're able to save the project files wherever you want. So you can have a designated folder for it on the hard drive or whatever that is. And on Resolve on the flip side, they have one space where all the projects are saved and archived. But this is a really convenient way for you to not lose any project files as well as be able to find anything and archive your project files more efficiently. Now, I personally hate this. I don't like this in Resolve and it's something that I wish that I could have power over having that file management option of being able to save my project files of where I can, but it doesn't have that. So it's something that honestly is not as big as an issue as some people might think. So it's not something that I would say sways you away from wanting to switch or even start using DaVinci Resolve. Now workflow, this is another big thing that people want to know. As starting off as someone who has never done it before. Learning each workflow is something that you just have to start from scratch. So I would definitely suggest starting in DaVinci Resolve because it's actually gonna be easier and more efficient for you. Whereas someone in Adobe Premiere, you have a workflow that is customizable to you. You can customize it all that you want. And as in Resolve, you're not able to customize anything. It has a standard set workflow, which is actually really great for doing projects with other people because you have a standard workflow. And when you open up somebody else's project, you have the standard workflow and you're not confused on what you're looking at. Now, the one thing I love about both of these, the one thing about Adobe that I love is that you get to customize your workflow, changing different panels, having different things and minimalize things that you don't want to use. Whereas in Resolve, you're not really able to minimize it as much as you'd wish you could and you can't customize the windows at all. So again, this is something that actually can be way more convenient as an editor. If you're trying to get things done quickly, everything is very cohesive and DaVinci Resolve and something that I would look at if you were to switch. Coming on to number four, we're gonna talk about the price point. This is a really big issue for a lot of people in the Adobe space. Paying a monthly fee is just a little bit crazy. If you pay for the whole suite, you're paying $55 a month. That is including all of the products, Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, all that stuff. And I know as a creator, you can actually start to use a lot of those softwares. But if we're talking just about video editing, you can start running into the issue of paying a monthly fee. And as someone who's just starting out as a video editor, you don't want to pay a monthly fee because you don't know if you're gonna be using this long term. And again, you're just continuing paying these fees. And if you do the math, $55 over a year can be way more than on the flip side of DaVinci Resolve, where the price is actually 
absolutely free. Now they have a free version that gives up to 90% ability to actually use the full software, their studio version. Now their studio version is actually $295. The one-time fee is what's really enticing is because you never have to pay for this ever again. Whereas Adobe, you have to pay a monthly fee. Someone who's trying to make this cost efficient, it doesn't make any sense. Not to mention if you actually do convert fully to black magic, they have endless products when it comes to black magic they have a camera that you can buy and if you buy their cameras you actually get a free login to their studio version editor so you get a free editor because you decided to buy a camera so they're really enticing you to switch completely over to black magic which big woo on black magic for doing that so now we're coming to certain features there's some specific features that i want to highlight in both of the softwares that are very important that i think actually make a really big game changer uh, besides the fact that you get to actually customize your workflow in adobe premiere i want to talk about in the effects control window where you're able to transform and do different things like that it is a lot more more efficient in my opinion to do that uh, than in DaVinci Resolve and it kind of feels a little bit limiting in that in their effects tab for the most part that is one of the biggest things for me in Adobe and uh, on the flip side we have smart bins on DaVinci Resolve is one of the biggest game changers I personally seen you get to create a smart bin and you literally just import all of your footage and it will customize it to your liking so you get to create a custom folder and it will take the data files and it will read everything. And if it's like, hey, I want all of the MP4 folders in the footage bin, it will do that for you. This is something I absolutely love about DaVinci Resolve. One thing I would do want to touch on is compatibility. Now, when I was working with DaVinci Resolve, I was working with a C300 and the files I was importing, the MXF files were having really hard time trying to work with them. I don't know if it was just my computer not able to handle it or what the heck was happening, but I was only able to edit these files smoothly in Adobe Premiere. So that is one thing to look at depending on what camera you have. Now, a C300 is a very specific camera and you can convert those files to actually work in DaVinci Resolve, but that's a whole nother topic. Now the speed test and all of this is very crazy. When you come out to the point of which one is faster when you're editing and that goes into terms of workflow, speed of workflow and exporting. These are just a big difference in what's happening. One of the biggest issues I do have with Adobe Premiere is the speed that it runs at. For such a bulky software, it does so much. And because it has such a bulky code and it's never been rewritten, it's just been adding on top of each other. We have this super slow software that's super complicated. Where on the flip side, we have DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is extremely fast. I'm talking super fast. Do any kind of footage, 4K, 6K, even 8K, very efficiently. Now that also depends on how fast your computer is. At the most part, most standard computers today are able to handle that. Another huge highlight in this is one of my biggest pet peeves with Adobe Premiere definitely is the auto saving factor. Now I'm very used to saving on very quick occasions. Every one minute, I just manually save I've just gotten the habit of that. But when you get to a really big project where you start doing anything longer than 10 to 15 minutes, it starts becoming a very slow process to save. So when you have that auto save turned on every, however, I think the default is 20 minutes and it's just gonna take forever. Like it can literally take up to one minute to fully save the video, which when you're in the middle of editing, it just distracts your whole flow of things and it defeats the whole purpose of speed and efficiency. So this is why Resolve is actually amazing and the number one reason why everyone's switching is because of the speed. DaVinci doesn't have any issues with auto saving factor. It saves upon every single click you make. It is saving as you go. So it's the same thing similar to Final Cut. So if it crashes or closes out or whatever the heck happens, your computer just dies, blows up, I don't even know, then you're totally fine because it saved the project completely. Now the issue with Adobe Premiere, because Adobe Premiere has been around since like 1998, I don't even know. It has been a long time. The issue with getting into certain things like the commercial world or the film industry, the standard right now is Adobe Premiere and Avid Media. Now, you can use different softwares like Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, which some studios might use or even individuals who are contracted for these things. That is the biggest issue that we have right now for Adobe is people who are in the industry standard are not willing to change this over. So understanding these softwares, if you want to get into that space, you have to know these softwares and thus you can't be using other inferior editors as Resolve or Final Cut. I can tell you right now that those softwares are far from inferior, if not better and more efficient than Adobe Premiere. The biggest issue I could really come up with for DaVinci Resolve is that it's not industry standard yet. It does not have as advanced tools as Adobe Premiere, but it does literally everything you could possibly need in it. So 
who cares? You can do every single thing you could possibly do with Adobe Suite. It has fusion, it has color, it has editing, it has uh, deliverables, it has everything you need in there. And not to mention it started off as a color grading tool and is used as a standard in the color grading space, which actually gives me hope that DaVinci Resolve will become an industry video editing standard, especially in those higher end spaces like film and in commercial space, which I'm sure they're already having a push for. So at the end of the day, you're probably wondering what the heck should I change it probably seems pretty clear at this point adobe i love adobe i have a really hard time with actually switching over to resolve and i'm just kind of in a position where i kind of have to switch over to resolve because of the actual glaring facts and i can't ignore it and as you as an editor especially as a new one i would go after davinci resolve so i'll see you guys in the next video peace out